At the 22nd September Summit on Climate Change, 101 heads of states and government and 163 countries participated in the September Summit and signaled their desire to achieve an agreed outcome at Copenhagen. Since then, the Secretary General has continued to work to keep world leaders engaged in the process as it is these leaders who will ultimately determine the nature and the scope of such an agreement. On his most recent trip to Sweden, Denmark and Switzerland, which covered many issues, the Secretary General met with the current President of the European Union and the President of the next Climate Change Conference of the Parties. In Sweden, the Secretary General met with Swedish Prime Minister Frederik Reinfeldt, where he thanked the European Union for their support and encouraged them to maintain a leading role in the search for a climate change agreement. In Denmark, the Secretary General met with Danish Prime Minister Lars Lokke Rasmussen and held extensive discussions on Danish preparations for Copenhagen and the current state of play in negotiations. The Secretary General also held consultations with the Danish Minister for Climate and Energy, Ms. Connie Hedegaard. As President of the Conference, Denmark is taking a lead on all substantive content and on how to proceed. As the representative of all 192 UN Member States, the Secretary General reaffirmed his commitment to serve as a neutral broker in support of the Danish-led preparations. This trip coincided with the latest round of climate negotiations held under the auspices of the UNFCCC, which ended last Friday in Bangkok. It was clear that negotiators were re-energized following the Climate Change Summit in New York last month and eager to make headway on some of the elements of a climate deal. Negotiators made much needed progress over the last 10 days in Bangkok on what some call the architecture of the agreement that is needed to make a global climate deal work on the ground. There was progress on adaptation, technology, capacity building and reducing emissions from deforestation. Developing countries clearly demonstrated they are moving forward in a spirit of pragmatic cooperation. However, there is still a disconnect between what national leaders say in summit meetings and what their negotiators offer on the negotiating floor. Little progress was made on the core political issues, such as midterm emission reduction targets for industrialized countries. Similarly, clarity is still lacking on the issue of finance that developing countries need in order to undertake additional actions to limit their emissions growth and adapt to the inevitable effects of climate change. There are now only five more negotiations left, the days left until Copenhagen. Countries must maintain the positive momentum of the summit and translate that into concrete proposals that can advance progress toward an agreement. The Secretary General encourages all parties to negotiate in a spirit of flexibility and enlightened self-interest, focusing on the benefits that a fair, ambitious and comprehensive global deal will provide for their own people, for their children and future generations and for the planet. Thank you.